Hey you guys, I'm here with a nail video. This is for the 4th of July. If you would like to see how I created the mix that I'm using, um, you're going to have to stay tuned for the next video. Uh, I go step by step on how I created and I share with you guys. So right here, because I didn't want to make the video too long, what I'm doing is I am doing a... Um, painting or a decoration with acrylic paints over the nail and um, what I've done here is once I created my nail I filed and shaped and buffed and I start out with acrylic paints. The acrylic paints that I'm using are the acrylic um, paints that you can find at Michael's. Um, normally they're like $69, 69 cents sorry, or a dollar or something like that. So that's what I'm using. i um, not diluted I'm not diluting them with water, sorry, um, I'm using just as they are from the bottle. So what I like to do is I always like to start out my base with white. Um, that is because sometimes the colors are translucent and by um, basically starting out with white you make the colors more, um, more bright. So um, as you seen in the picture from the beginning, um, the character that I'm doing today is Snoopy. He's going to be holding a flag. So that's what I'm doing here. And um, basically the colors that you're going to need for for this design is going to be white, blue, and red, and black because you want to outline with the black. And um, yeah, so it's super easy. Um, what you need to do is just basically um, set your outline of where you want everything once you have that um, in your nail just to make sure that everything fits um, you're gonna go ahead and start adding your color um, the easy thing about when you use acrylic paints is that if you happen to make a mistake you can go ahead and take a take your brush or another thin brush and get a little bit of acetone and clear clear your mistake and just continue working with that. Um, what else can I say? Um, the very tiny um, spaces that you have that you're not able to get your brush into, um, I recommend that you just um, basically tap your brush like if you were doing little dots and um, that's gonna make it easier for you to get in those little spots that you need to add color but you can you can really um, use your brush to stroke. Um, other than that, what I do recommend as well is that um, one, once you're working on on one side, for example, the face, um, and you added a lot of color, I go ahead and leave it alone for a few seconds, and I start working in another part of the of the design that is just so you at least give it a few seconds for the paint to um to dry a little bit it's not going to dry completely but um it'll be a little bit dry enough that if you apply another color on top of it your color won't mix if that tends to happen to you that you're working on it and um, you happen to have your colors bleed um, what you can do is just go ahead and um, leave it alone for a few seconds, make sure it's completely dry. And um, once it's completely dry, go ahead and go over the color that you want it. And then make sure that you let it dry again before you go on with another color. Um, that is just so that you don't mix your colors. Or if you want to, like I said, you can grab a little bit of um, nail polish or a little bit of alcohol and just clean the area that you made a mistake on. Um, something else that I can tell you. Um, throughout the end of the video you're going to see that I'm going to use white on his nose and on his ear. That is just to give it a little bit of light so it brings out the picture more. Right here you're seeing that I'm adding white but the on his nose but uh, but um, I had already added, so you can see that um, you can see like the the paint overlapping. 
so what I do is I add it and leave it alone a few seconds then I clean my brush and um, I add a little bit of water in my brush and just with a little bit of water just blend that and those little bumps will go away just a little bit of water you don't need that much because you don't want your paint to drip um, what you do see me is that I go back and forth between um, what I'm working on because um, I do overlap the colors and um, so I do go back and clean my my work just so that the colors are more vibrant and you can see them better um, other than that um, I'm just using a striper brush and um, I'm just cleaning my brush and a towel that I always use when I'm working on nails and um, that's it so hopefully um, you like this design and you give it a try if you do make sure that you head over to my Instagram or my Facebook page and um, show me your nail design for 4th of July and um, that's all for now if you have any questions make sure that you put them down below and um, thank you for stopping by to see my video and um, if you enjoy it make sure to give me a thumbs up and I will talk to you guys later